Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue working on my if-else statement. Um, let's see, in the last video we created a function that does a couple things. It gets a value from a text box and makes it into a variable. And then we're determining if that variable is blank or not. And if somebody submits the form without entering anything in, they get some feedback that says enter your age. Otherwise, they get some feedback that says thanks. Okay, so let me just go ahead and save. Here's my browser. I'll just um, do a hard refresh. If it's blank, enter your age. If it's got something in it, thanks. Cool, so that's what we have so far. And by the way, I will make this uh, available for download, this HTML file, so you can grab this later on, even though it's still really good to kind of type it out yourself. So if it's blank, they get some feedback. Now, if it's not blank, that means something has happened, okay? If, if it's not blank, then they've entered some information, which means we got to really spend some time looking at this. So I currently have this else statement, and I want to do a lot more with this else. For instance, if they entered some data, I don't just want to give them a thank you. I want to start checking for a bunch of things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take what I currently have in my else statement. I'm going to select it. I'll just go ahead and delete it. And then I'm going to press my enter key for my else statement a number of times. And let's get clear on this here. This is my else statement. There's a lot of room for me to work in here now. And in fact, just so we are really clear, I'm going to put in end of my else statement, which really is what we're doing if user has entered something. Okay, so this else statement is going to have a bunch of stuff in here. Now the first thing I want to do, if they've entered something in that text box, I want to find out, well, was it a number? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable here. Age equals parse integer, or parse int, parentheses, age, semicolon. So I'm creating a variable. Now, I already created this variable, right? I sure did. I did it up here earlier, and this part does occur. The variable age is equivalent to the value entered into the age box, but I don't know if it's a number or not. It could have been text. So I'm going to take the value that they entered into that text box, and I'm going to try to convert it to a number. So my new age variable is going to be the previous age variable made into a number. Okay. Now the other thing I'm going to do in this else statement is I'm going to run another if. Remember the basic format for an if statement, if, our logical test, opening set of curly braces, and then a closing set of curly braces. So if I'm going to use a function here. This is a built-in function. If is not a number age. Okay? So I want to find out if age is not a number. Okay? So if age is not a number then I'm going to take my document. In fact, let's, I'm sorry, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do a little bit of copying and pasting here. So I'm going to copy this, paste. So if age is not a number, then I'm gonna put enter a number. Okay. And I'm still going to return false. So I'm gonna I'm going to type return false a lot. There we go. So here's my if statement. Clearly in the else section, this is where you're going to write the things that they must have entered something. So I'm trying to find out if they entered a number or not. Okay. So if it's not a number, we're going to give them an error message. If it is a number, well, then this first if statement is going to get ignored. Okay, so if it's not a number, then ask them to enter a number. Else if. Okay, so an else if statement is pretty much like an if statement. If this is true, then do this thing. 
other else if otherwise do this thing and the next thing I want to check for is I want to put in a couple of else if statements to find out well clearly they must have entered a number because if it wasn't a number they would have gotten this feedback If they don't get the feedback then it must be a number and now I want to start looking for well what kind of number was it if age was greater than or equal to 21 well if it was greater than or equal to 21 then I'm going to put in this message that says um, 21 or older okay and of course I will return false so if it's not a number give them an error message otherwise is the number greater than or equal to 21 then display 21 or older and then I'm gonna take this entire else if statement I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna do another one and just paste there we go now if else if I mean if the age is less than 21 and, and I have to use two ampersands here and age is greater than or equal to 18 then you're between 18 and 21 okay so you can keep repeating else if statements else if statements else if statements one after the other for more detail so if it's not a number give them an error message otherwise is the number they entered greater than or equal to 21 if so give them this feedback otherwise is the number they entered less than 21 but greater than or equal to 18 if so then do this at some point we'll stop doing else if statements and we'll just do another else statement else curly braces so there's no logical test with an else statement and I'll simply take this information copy it paste okay now if they're not greater than or equal to 21 if they're not greater than or equal to 18 and less than 21 and they must be under 18 so we'll put in under 18 and we're going to return false and I need my closing curly braces to stop that and there we go and let me just do a little get rid of some extra line spaces so this is our if function now our very complicated if function at that we're checking for age as part of that process we get a variable of whatever they entered into a text box the first thing we're trying to find out is did they enter anything in if it's blank ask them to enter their age now if it's not blank then they must have entered something so if it's not blank did they enter a number well we find out by trying to convert what they entered to a number an integer and if it's not a number then we ask them to please enter a number otherwise we start looking at the details of what they entered is it greater than or equal to 21 is it between 18 and 21 is that less than 18 and all of this will give us some feedback so let's test it out I'm gonna go ahead and hit save jump over to my browser and do a refresh if it's blank enter your age if there's text enter a number if I put a number like 50 I'm 21 or older if I put a number in like 20 I'm between 18 and 21 and if I put a number like 15 I'm under 18 there we go so that's a JavaScript with if else if and else statements in a function